let me ask you a question. The thing that snapped off in your hand, the actual housing, I'm assuming is what it is, on the back end of it, are there two or three small copper tubes that looks like sticking out of them? Right, okay, got you. That's the, so it's a delta valve, is that correct? Well, it's, it was brazed in from the factory, and that's a big problem with those valves. And one of the reasons that Delta stopped making them because of that issue. You thought you had it. You thought you had it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. You're not the first person it happened to, trust me. Unfortunately, no. That valve is now destroyed. Uh, what is it? Is it like a, um, a surround or, or a, a tile shower? Is that what it is? Okay, I got you. Now, what's behind that shower on the other side of the wall? Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's the only way to really gain access to it is from behind. I could... I could try. Um, I can see what, see where I'm at in my day. I'm heading back to my office now. And uh, if you give me just a little bit, actually, I can go. You're gonna be home. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's, it's, that whole thing is garbage at this point. To make you feel better, to make you feel better, it probably wasn't going to come apart anyway. Just, just, just so you. Know, I mean, it, it, ha it does happen a lot. I, I, it's not. You're not the first person, and sometimes they just won't come free. So there's no way to get two wrenches on them without destroying it anyway. Yeah, I should, I, I should be able to come out of it, whether, whether I'd be able to, if I have enough time to do it, that's the other thing. I have to see where I am in my day. Um, uh -huh. I'm sure, I'm sure, because showers and tubs, for some reason, when they're building houses, don't, ne don't necessarily, by code, need to have shutoff valves. And I've been saying this for 25 years, why not? This is what happens. They should have isolation valves on everything. Your toilet bowl has one, your sinks have one, but tubs and showers never do. Nah, I tell you didn't do anything wrong. Is, uh, sorry, this is this a cell phone that you're on that I just called? So it's your cell phone that I called. Is that correct? Would you uh, would you mind either calling me back and I'll let it go to voicemail or texting me your address? That'll work fine. Thank. You. That's fine. Thank you. Sorry, this is Bill with Harlow's Corner 101. I hung up, I hung up, I stopped taping a, a second ago because I knew I had to make a phone call and then I just decided, you know what, 
I'll let you see what I have to usually go through. Generally, now that I'm working for a different company, I don't have to deal with my clients uh, that way anymore. I just kind of go over and meet them and, and do my normal thing. But this is a, um, it's not a Harlow Plumbing customer. It's another client. That's another um, plumber that I've done work for in the past. And while he's out of town, he's asking me to uh, go check it out for him. So I really have to see how this is going to work. Is it going to be billed through him and he's thinking he's going to pay me because I can't do that anymore? Or is it going to be just mine and I'll give the guy the price and do it and, you know, hey, you're not here, I took care of your guy for you. That I have to ask Stacy. That's, that would be the contractor's name. But uh, generally, that's that's kind of how it is. My clients, I'll give, them, I'll give them a call and they'll tell me in layman's terms what they're talking about. The first thing he said to me was, and I don't think I was taping yet. I don't know anything I'm about to say to you, so hopefully you, uh, hopefully you can bear with me and, and maybe figure it out. That's when I said, you know what, let me tape this. So uh, I did. You know, it's a typical single-handle Delta shower... Hold on, my coffee cup. Shower valve. Uh, the gentleman, the homeowner, went to change the cartridge himself because it wasn't shutting down all the way. And they are on three three-eighths lines off of the main valve onto the housing. So if you opened up the wall, you you would see, sorry, I'm looking over that too. You would see the housing and that's all. But behind it, shit, behind it are, if you look underneath your one of your sinks, unless you have braided lines, but they're still the same size, you'll see small tubing that goes from your shutoff valve to your faucet. Well, that small tubing is 3-8 line. That 3-8 line is the same thing that's feeding the shower valve effectively. You got your hot, your cold, and you got your divert going up for the mixture. Uh, well, when you go to take the thing apart, you go to take off your nice chrome trim or Venetian bronze, whatever you happen to have, and you don't know that that's how it's put together, and you're wrenching down on it, the whole thing just twists, and it snaps the brazing. They don't tell you that because I guess they figure that if you're going to put it in, you're the one person that's going to know. I don't know. The homeowners after 15 years don't know this kind of crap. That's why it was a stupid, nice car, stupid idea to begin with when they first designed them. And I see it a lot. Homeowners want to save a buck. They'll get the cartridge. It's a Delta Monitor. is the model, if you want to get technical. And uh, that's what happens. The thing comes apart in their hands. It hasn't happened to me yet, knock on wood, but it can happen. This doesn't take much, especially if the, if the valve itself is set deep in the wall <laughs> and you don't have much room as it is to grab onto it with a wrench. You know, how, how are you going to grab it with two wrenches? One to hold back and one to break it free. It's not going to happen. I don't even know if this guy had the right parts for it, but nevertheless, it broke open his hand and he had to run outside during the water off. And now he's standing there. He said, my wife, my wife is standing here looking at me. She's like, she wants to kill me. I'm sure. You just, uh, you know, gotta turn the water off to your house. I don't know one woman, that, well, I don't know any women that don't, that don't want water. Look at this. Sorry, people. I'm trying to weave in and out of traffic over here on Greenville. It's a real pain in the ass. Now, I gotta hope when I get back to my office that they don't have another bolt for me to run on because they do. Then this is not gonna happen. I think that might have been the test. Billy, address is 509. Billy. Billy? Do you know me? Got it. Oh, he's right next to my house, nearly Farm Road. Hell, oh, that's kind of right. That's the reason I started to um, start the broadcast again, just so you can kind of say. So that was it. As stupid as it was, I know. But if you like it, you like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you think I'm an asshole for sending this out on YouTube, say, hey, listen, man, you're an asshole for sending it on YouTube. I'll call you an asshole back for watching it. 
but hey, that's just me. So for this Black Friday, a very nice sunny, chilly, but sunny Black Friday, this is Bill from Arlo's Corner 101. Catch you all on the flip side.